Okay, now that we've looked at the kind of um, the very, very basics of, of threat and vulnerability, uh, we'll just have a look at technical surveillance countermeasures as itself as a service. So um, I think this is the kind of DOD um, definition of um, TSCM. And what it doesn't take into consideration is um, communication security and IT security. Now, I'm not going to step up my depth and start talking about IT security. That's not my realm. However, I think when we, um, when we look at the next slide, we see how they fit together. And this is the biggest vulnerability that, that I perceive um, in the corporate world, which is vision from what I've seen at the kind of government world. Um, you have your physical security and your physical security budget. You have your IT security and your IT security budget. And you put them together and there's always a gap. There are devices which are manufactured specifically for that gap. Devices which will not be found by standard physical security. Devices which cannot be found by standard IT and cyber defense. Um, I'll give an example, and it's a brief example. Um, we have a thing back in the workshop which is called a passive sniffer. And it's a small box, about this big. It has four ports. Two ports with double communication, two ports with one-way communication. That can sit quite happily on a wired network and sniff the packets from that network. If we attach a 3G um, device onto there, 3G technical surveillance device, we can open a direct 3G tunnel to sniff packets from that network. The cost of that is 50 pounds. The ability to put that in, anybody could put it in. Okay, so the reality is that TSCM, while it might seem a little bit James Bond, it might seem a little bit never happened to us, um, there is a gap, and there's a gap in most people's security strategies. 